tapes? Tapes. Boxes, boxes of transcriptions of the wire taps. Wow. Okay. Mm. And and also I don't I don't have them in the boxes, but I know as companion to that is also the same photo surveillance every time. I would be meet, meeting somewhere with Martin. We were in a public place or going to a hotel. Mm -hmm. Snapping our pictures. We go going to the airport, snapping our pictures. Coming out of a hotel, coming and snapping our pictures. When you would share information with Martin, was he a good listener, or did you have to like listen to me? I'm I'm here for you, or was he like overpowering? You know, not listening to you at times it would oh, no, be no, frustrating no. for you, or was oh, he a good no, listener? No. He was, he was a very good listener. Someone who. Uh, listen to your advice, mm -hmm. uh, uh, very respectful of your advice, mm -hmm. and yet he was very well grounded right. in his own position, uh, in his own point of view. Um, and, and the reality was is that there was not always unanimity among those of us who were closest to him. Mm -hmm. There were certain issues that uh, where there was great disagreement among us. And, and with Martin, for example, let's take let's take the garbage worker strike in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, I was opposed to him coming and participating in the garbage worker strike, not because I didn't think it would help uh, in support of the garbage strike, but because he had asked me and that it pleaded with me and Stanley Levinson mm -hmm. to go and set up some meetings for him to raise money. Right. Okay, so after I go and set up the meetings with important people for him to make to make uh, important appearances where we would get money to support the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and, and including the campaign in, in, um, you know, in Memphis. He said, I'm sorry, Clarence, uh, I, I can't go. I have to go back to Memphis. I said, you can't go back to Memphis. <laughs> Going back to Memphis could be, no, I can't. He says, uh, he says how, how does that? I said, first of all, you're in the middle of a poor people's campaign. Second of all, you go back a second time after there have been these young men that have been rioting. The press is going to be blaming on about you yeah. about why you couldn't stop the riot. Right. Okay. And here I have some. I've set up some meetings for you, which you should keep. Clarence, I'm sorry. You're just going to tell the people I can't make it. Wow. And uh, I'm I'm sure you can do it and handle it, but I can't. And I was really miffed. Okay. But at the same time, I respected his decision. I mean, I was annoyed, but I respected his decision. Now, on a more profound political, let's take the question of. Um, the Vietnam War, okay. There was great dissent among the advisors. Um, uh, the principal dissent having to do with, uh, one, whether or not he should publicly speak out at all. There were some of us who felt that um, the peace leadership, the leadership of the peace movement was seeking to hijack the imprimatur uh, and the credibility of the civil rights movement for their own purposes. That happened to be my point of view. I thought he had to be very, very careful. Not that I was uh, 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 in support of the war, or not that I was opposed to the peace movement. I just felt that I wanted to be sure that he wasn't going to be used right. by the leadership of the peace movement. Okay. The second, the more profound difference, was that um, 